Right now, there is a race for second place in the WDA soccer standings. Jamestown finds itself at least two games ahead of the rest of the league, but everyone else behind them is bunched up. So each night presents a new opportunity. That's the case tonight. Legacy sitting three points ahead of Mandan St. Mary's coming into tonight in second place. Sabres controlled the tempo early, but Mandan would find a goal against the run of play as Jay Mueller with the first time finish. Tucking it away into the bottom corner. It didn't take long for the Sabres to answer back. And if you want the definition of top bends, that's it. Uriel Rivera ripping it into the top corner, bringing the Sabres level. And once they got one, it felt like the second was imminent. Rivera again firing it into the roof of the net. But the Braves and Sabres end in a 2-2 tie. Century on the road up north taking on Minot tonight. Minot awarded with a free kick at midfield. Sammy Chanis line drives the ball into the box, lands kindly to Justice Amsbury, who flicks it to Dylan Oswald. The Magi once again aggressive in the midfield. Vinny Pela plays J Dylan Jackson in behind the defense. Jackson chipping it in as Minot cruises 5 0 in this one. Jamestown shuts out Dickinson. Well, all 12 WDA volleyball teams are back in action tonight, but there's two teams that stand above the rest. Century and Minot, both with perfect conference records coming in since tonight. The Majettes putting that on the line against second place Bismarck on the road. Demons cruising in the first set, a 20-15 lead. The Majettes say not so fast, a 7-2 run tying it. Then Everett DeChamp comes through with a big point, making it 25-24. Demons go to work from there. Jordan Rood put him, putting them in position to take the first set with that big block. And then it's Aspen Roldson closing things out with none other than an ace. It's the Demons night as they win three to nothing. Legacy Volleyball hosting the Williston Coyotes tonight. Sabres got off to a quick start. A push from Kalen Kraft finds the hardwood. Legacy begins to build an early lead. Now it's Cambry Volk back serving for the Sabres. Her serve. Dropping into no man's land. That's a service ace for her. The Coyotes looking for some offense late. Allison Wilcox setting it for Tenassi Lacey, who hammers it home. But the Sabres would go on to sweep Williston. A few more scores as Century remains unbeaten in conference play. St. Mary's and Minot North pick up home wins. And in Class B, Flasher, Hazen, Shiloh, Washburn, Central McLean, and Mott Regent all winning at home. To the pool for a double duel this afternoon in the 200-yard medley relay legacy. Getting off to a quick start thanks to Tova Bilkri. The group would finish with a time of 154-81 and a win. The second event was the girls' 200-yard freestyle. The top five swimmers in this event already have state qualifying times. This one was close until the very end, but it's Bismarck's Madeline Verdot coming away with the win. And in the 50-yard freestyle, the quickest event in the pool, Legacy's Brindley still the only one in the race with a state qualifying time, and she'd win again. 26.41 seconds, Legacy and Century both picking up wins.